Not a single cloud in the sky. The amount of people that complimented my pistol squats in my last vlog is seriously unhealthy for my ego. Now I'm just gonna only do pistol squats today to show off. <laughs> I'm gonna make a quick lunch with all the leftovers from what I eat in a week. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. These are also all the beef trimmings that we get from Mija Soul. All the pretty parts go on the food and all the cuts that aren't so favorable. They're very, very good cuts, so I've been eating a lot of beef. A lot of this is tendon, so it's extremely chewy and we can't use it in the restaurant. But it doesn't mean that it's not good for us. It's great quality Hanu beef, which is technically more expensive than Wagyu. And these really small ones, I'm gonna just save it for a hamburger patty or something. There are many things that I would eat the peel of. Carrots, apples, obviously, but not daikon. It's too bitter. This radish is from Jeju, which is kind of like Hawaii of Korea. I'm hoping to do a 24 hour series very soon. And they have the best root vegetables because something to do with the salinity of the water makes the radishes and all the root vegetables so good. from my parents' garden. Wow, how many did you get? As many as your balls. Same size. Bit bigger. Hey.
Mm. Root vegetables are what you need to eat during the winter. Every other produce is going to be shit other than root vegetables. Mm. I need to improve on this. But the sweetness from the homemade measure is really nice. That's it. I also bought this in the last What I Eat in a Week video, but I'm having it now. No pirate's booty, except it's not cheesy, nothing flavored with a slight of banana and dipped in a tiny bit of chocolate so it's like ah, oh, I wish that there was a little bit more chocolate I'm gonna keep eating more that amount of chocolate That's my accountant for the day <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh no, new jeans again. This is everywhere. Yeah. Today, today it's the it's the only. <laughs> but what is the English? Wednesday, Wednesday. Ah, Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. It's wa wa. It's su yuil. Su yuil. Wednesday. Su yuil. Yes. The first sentence, please. Today is Wednesday. Ah, boy. Onil. Su yuil. 입니다. 입니다. 오늘은 수요일입니다. 오랜만에 마침 이거. 엄청 많다. You can share. You can share. 세븐 포인데 그 옥스 코드가 일단 안 되고요. 그리고 이게 So uncultured. Do you want to borrow guide? No. <laughs> Just enjoy with your eyes. Yes. <laughs> Gross. 
little family outing. Is it here? Yes. Have you been here, Kevin? No? Yes. I have been here before, yeah, I recognize it. Perfect, Archimbap. Of what? <laughs> they are excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Misha! Oh, 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 there's no. Oh, watch out! Julie is scared. Julie is too scared. Oh, Julie, you can do it. Oh, Julie, oh, okay. Oh, poor Julie. Oh, okay, Julie. Oh, good. Oh. Wow. <laughs> 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 beauty <laughs> How long was I up for? Uh, 20 minutes Oh yeah? 20 minutes Yeah I need to This was every Sunday Oh, it's really good Alibaba Alibaba From Alibaba I'm going to A little bit of product placement here This is the kimchi we made from the Kim Jang video. This is why you have to get kimchi a fridge. Freeze. Yeah, right. <gasps> looks so yummy. Mm, looks so yummy. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> 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 
It's the most uh, interesting way I've seen somebody eating marshmallows. I only like eating the layers. And then keep on chowing it. Yeah, so that you maximize the caramelization. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, Someone asked me sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> Entertain. I like how the dogs are just passed out too. Uh, go, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's really go. Fast. <laughs> but it's not. There we we go. don't reach a thousand yet. Okay. So, <laughs> guys, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I am not running my own dental clinic. I am working for other person's dental clinic. So these days uh, I work uh, as a dentist on the side. Yeah. I'm working <laughs> as Dubit <Dubidbub's> Bob's <laughs> project manager. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very hard job. <laughs> My mom quit being a dentist when I was younger, around when I was like 9 or 10, yes. right? She wanted to go to Canada with me. So this was back when I didn't speak like I do now. Yes. She had her own clinic, but decided to close the doors yes. and focus more on yeah. it. When I went to okay. Tucson in America for the orthodontics conference, I realized that English is really important. So I wanted Tina to speak English very well. I took her to Calgary. I, at the time, I was a very harsh mom. Yeah. To force her <laughs> to study hard. Yeah. Yeah. That was how old was I when I went to Canada? Third grade. I definitely didn't speak like I do now. Yeah. I had a very heavy, heavy accent. I definitely think that I wouldn't have been able to speak like I do now if it wasn't for those years. My mom and I, it was just us two. And my dad still lived in Korea during that time. Yeah, because he had to make money yeah. to support us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's like pretty common and you call those like phenomena as like stork dads. Yeah. Because the dads, they come back and forth and they migrate like, you know, every... Uh, for their children's education. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge sacrifice. Lots of uh, Korean parents want to support uh, their children as, as much as possible. And that's something that Kevin still has the most like shock over yeah, yes. with like Asian parents versus Western parents. Kevin's parents, for example, they're very expressive. Words of affirmation, like saying like, oh, I love you. Yeah, yes, and hug a lot. Hug a lot. Yeah, I love you, hug. Yeah. But in Korea, that's not very common. Especially in my family, I just, uh, I barely say, I love you, Tina. Never. And <laughs> It's very... Never. I definitely can say I can show my love to them in a different way. I gave up my laundry machine for a dishwasher. So I've been doing laundry at my parents' place. And it's been a good way to see the dogs and also get a meal. Yeah. And, and uh, save, save the money. Yeah, it's so expensive yeah, to yeah, do laundry yes, in Korea. Yeah. How do you see Tina's career so far? Is social media a long-term thing to f try? Mm, I think she's been doing great job so far. She started YouTube just three years ago, but for those three years, she has improved a lot. I, at first time, she asked me to start a TikTok and she uh, wanted to show her face online and I strongly disagree with it because 
I don't want her to be famous or public figure like this, but and now we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, now we're doing this. And, I don't and, want her to be famous. And, <laughs> chat, 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 chat. We gotta and, get it up, 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 up. And I know the paradigm of a job has changed a lot. On top of that, she enjoys this job and she loves uh, making videos and she loves making food. So I'm very happy to see her enjoy her uh, hobbies as her job. Yeah, that's the most uh, fantastic thing to her. I think one of the most commonly asked questions and the biggest comments that we keep getting are, oh, like it's so good to see yeah. your family like back together and also spend time with Kevin. A lot has been behind the scenes yeah. of like our work, like yeah. how we've been working hard towards. So how old are you? Turning 52. What's next for Doobie do bop. Okay, uh, how okay. could I know you <laughs> that you even don't understand it? Okay, so true. don't ask okay, that kind true, of question. True, true. What is she proud of the most in you? Oh, I think she's very independent. Sometimes uh, I can say she's stubborn, but most of the time she's very independent and she likes to explore her world alone without my help so if i have parents like me and my husband i would uh, relied on them so much but she does not yeah, so i'm very proud of her she is very well grown up other i think <laughs> you saw it here first over a thousand witnesses yeah, saying yeah, that yeah yeah we did so many heart <laughs> yeah so many hearts Oh, thank you. Wait, wait, what? Why? Just why? so many like nice comments. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Korean hearts. Ja, ja, ja. Can you share some of your favorite memory from Tina's childhood? Oh, so many things. Yeah. When she was very little, I was driving and Tina looked at, looked at through the window in a car and the moon uh, she Not said, this one. Yeah, no. she said, I saw mommy, yeah, mommy, the moon is following us. That's so cute. That's so adorable. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, she's so stubborn. So, so many, many things. things. Yeah. yeah. Did Doobie get plastic surgery? I wish. I wish. And what? Tina is a, is, a, is a natural beauty. But look at my nose. <laughs> I have very straight high nose. I did plastic surgery for my nose, but I have a little hump on this area yeah. and I, I cut it, just cut. That's the only plastic surgery I've done. Trust me. <laughs> She's a little bit uh, broader than I. I'm kind of a cucumber, cucumber but she's yeah, I'm more uh, round. Yeah, round. Fortunately, Tina looks after me and my husband's good side. My husband are very uh, big eyes, big eyes yeah. and pretty lips and <laughs> yeah, pretty lips. Yeah, he's he's handsome just in in, in part, but <laughs> but not combinated well. <laughs> but but I love him. <laughs> I like him. I think I like him. <laughs> I no no no. I like him. I like him. I definitely like him. Now moving on. To what I think most people are curious about, we're gonna talk about Kevin, Mr. Umbrella Man. Yeah, Umbrella Man. He was an Umbrella Man. Yes. Yeah. What were some of the most difficult times in your life? In our relationship, I think it was definitely yeah. when we were fighting about when Kevin. Tina told me that she has a boyfriend and he is Danish and he is a chef. Tina has such a unstable job as a youtuber so i really want to uh, meet tina who has a very stable job at that time i don't like kevin and i had a very weird stereotype about tattoos and all the doobies uh, remember that when tina had the second tattoos i was really furious kevin has lots of tattoos so i just uh, hate it so sorry about the people who has lots of tattoos. I know I was wrong. Yeah, I had a very stupid stereotype yeah. about uh, people who has tattoos. It's just an outlook. I had to see his inside. When I uh, dislike Kevin, I, uh, we met sometimes uh, to 
have dinner but I didn't look at him at all and I didn't it's okay it's talk okay. to him at all so it's okay. in hindsight I shouldn't have treated Kevin like that I'm so sorry about that but now I really like Kevin and uh, as I watching Tina and Kevin now I fully understand why Tina chose Kevin he is very supportive, he is very gentle, like my husband, and he's very nice. Yeah. I mean, it took time. For the initial shock factor was there at first, because Kevin and I come from very different backgrounds as well. And I have like a very, a very intense personality. Yes. Yeah. And when I believe in something, I will like push. Yeah. Yeah, I will push. Like, I'm like rocket fuel. Yes. That's kind of like me with content with like m like with a lot of things in life and i definitely took that approach with kevin as well and i like hard launched him yes um and, and it, it was it was a lot and i think i really tried to like make you understand like right away but as but, time passed but it takes time yeah you might not know this one of the things that really brought my mom and i and like my family our family back together was actually not me mm -hmm. But it was actually Kevin who like pushed me to be like, oh, like oh, they're your really yeah, they're your parents. Like you shouldn't cut like oh, you shouldn't cut them okay. out. That like, you should still make try and like I think that was like the moment where I realized like ah oh, Kevin's an adult. Like I think oh. I was still very childish about it. I was like mm. oh I'm never gonna talk to my parents again. Like they're you know I'm just never gonna see them again. But then Kevin was like oh, just take time oh. and just like everything's gonna be healed and like there's nothing that time can heal and your parents are probably doing this because they love you i, I didn't know that i didn't yeah. know that okay. so i think that was like a pretty important thing as to like why i kept trying and like we fought a lot but i think like the fighting was necessary in order for us to grow closer together as a family also yeah yeah mm, i like kevin so much yeah but, he's a really mm, nice guy yeah He's a really nice guy. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's going fast. Oh, yeah. I can't read. How um, does she feel about Kevin now? I love Kevin. Yeah. I love Kevin. And now I, I fully understand why Tina chose him as uh, a boyfriend or her soulmate or her future spouse. Uh, I fully understand it yeah how did yeah. you feel about me going yeah. to us for school um uh, many people think that i forced her to go to us for studying but no she is my only child so i didn't want her to go to the boarding school alone we didn't have any relatives relatives in america but she begged me to go to the boarding school so she begged me for a week mom mom i really want to go to to school in america and that's why she got to go to school boarding school but because of that she finally finished her job as a student very successfully and she went to one of the Ivy League schools and she finished it very well. That's because she chose it. Yeah. Yeah. She chose to go to the America and if I go back in time, I will definitely send her. I think the I think when I was going to school it was tough though because I was getting drilled in yeah. that like you are the one who wanted to go. So yes. like even when things were tough, I felt like I couldn't complain yes, because like true. I had, I still had like a language barrier. Like my English was not good as all the other kids and they were like native speakers writing English essays and I was struggling so much in school, like especially my first year, I think also yes. culturally, yeah. but I didn't have anyone to like call and complain about or like be sad because it was my choice but yeah. i think now thinking about it that was a good thing because it made me who i am and i became like a lot more independent, independent. Yeah. yeah same
Digibongs. Digibongs. Yeah. So I think that's like a very important like character building yes, right. experience for right. me. Like not everyone can do well in boarding school, especially when you're away from your parents at such a young age. So it was the right choice for me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To, because I've been an only child my entire life. And I always have my parents to rely on whenever things went wrong. Um, but having that distance and also like time difference also. Yes. So it was just phone calls. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's it. The donkeys are asleep. That's it. That's it. We have to wrap it up. We have to wrap, wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Bing. Bye. Like, this was so you. much fun. I'll Thank do this you. often. Bye. Have a wonderful Luna New Year. Oh yeah. yeah. Happy Sunday. Happy Luna New Year. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, how do I exit though? Oh, this bit. Oh, okay, there we go. Bye.